first of all, I would like to introduce myself. Myself, Malika Mitra, working as a math teacher in DAVA Senior Secondary Public School, Mansa, Punjab. Today, I am here to teach Russian numbers to seven semesters. In seventh class, chapter number first is Russian numbers. Russian numbers. But before explaining Russian numbers, I, I would like to explain some terms which are related to the topic rational numbers and which you have learnt in previous class that is 6 standard plus. First one is natural numbers. The numbers which we can use while counting are known as natural numbers. Means the counting numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 up to so on are known as natural numbers. Smallest natural number is 1. How? For example, I have to count my fingers of this hand. How will I count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I have used 5 numbers while counting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These five numbers, one, two, three, four, five, are known as natural numbers. But if, but if, if I want to count my fingers of both her hands, how will I how will I count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have used ten numbers while counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These 10 numbers are known as natural numbers. Smallest natural number is 1. How? Because we cannot start from 0. By counting, we cannot start from 0. We can, we can never say 0, 1, 2. Therefore, smallest natural number is 1. Next is whole numbers. If we include 0 to the natural numbers, if we include 0 to the natural numbers, we get the collection of whole numbers. Means, if we include 0 to the collection of natural numbers, we get the collection of whole numbers. That is, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, up to so on are known as whole numbers. Now, integers. Now integers, collection of natural numbers, 0, negative of natural numbers is known as collection of integers. How? 1, 2, 3, 4 are natural numbers, 0 and negative of natural numbers means minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. Minus 4 up to so on means collection of negative natural numbers 0 and natural number is known as collection of integers. Next is fraction. Part of a whole is known as fraction. Part of a whole is known as fraction. Means a number which can be written the form P upon Q, where, where P and Q both are natural numbers, is known as fraction. For example, a number which can be written in the form P upon Q, where P and Q both are natural numbers, means 4 is natural. 5 is also natural, therefore it is a fraction. 1 upon 2. 1 is natural, 2 is natural, therefore it is a fraction. Fraction, invo fraction doesn't involve 0 and negative numbers because minus 1 upon 2 and minus 1 is not a natural number. Therefore, Fraction doesn't involve negative numbers and fraction doesn't involve 0 because 0 upon 1 our definition says where P and Q both are 
natural numbers. But zero is not a natural number. Therefore, fraction doesn't involve zero as well as negative numbers. Next, now our topic start. Now, rational number. Rational number. Rational number. A number which can be written in the form p upon q, where p and q both are integers and q is not equal to 0, is known as a rational number. A number, a number which can be expressed in the form P upon Q, where P and Q both are integers, where P and Q both are integers and Q is not equal to Z. I am repeating rational number, a number which can be written in the form P upon Q where P, P and Q both are integers and Q is not equal to 0. For example, which can be written, written in the form p upon q. Here 4 is integer, 5 is also an integer, therefore 4 upon 5 is a rational number. Here 2 is integer, 7 is integer, therefore 2 upon 7 is a rational number. Here 0 is integer, 8 is integer, therefore 0 upon 8 is a rational number. Next is minus 2 upon 7. Here minus 2 is an integer. 7 is an integer. Therefore minus 2 upon 7 is a rational number. Next is minus 3 upon 8. Here minus 3 is an integer. 8 is an integer. Therefore minus 3 upon 8 is also a, also a rational number. Now our definition says q is not equal to 0. Why? If I will, if I will take a upon 0 means denominator 0. If denominator will be 0 then number cannot be defined. Therefore q must not equal to 0. How? a upon 0 means a divided by 0. But we cannot divide any number by 0. Therefore, this number cannot be defined. Therefore, a rational number must have a denominator not equal to 0. I am repeating a number which can be expressed in the form P upon Q where P and Q both are integers and Q is not equal to 0. Now, Positive rational number. Positive rational number. A rational number, a rational number is said to be positive is said to be positive rational number positive rational number if P and Q a rational number P upon rational number 
P upon Q is said to be positive rational number if P and Q both have the both have the same sign means I either P and Q will be both positive or will be both negative. For example, for example, four upon seven minus two upon minus five minus four upon minus five. Three upon two. Here sine of four is positive, sine of seven is positive. Therefore, four and seven have the same sign. Therefore, four upon seven is a positive pressure number. Next is minus two upon minus five. Here numerator have the negative sign. Denominator have also the negative sign. Therefore. Minus two upon minus five is also a positive rational number. Next, four and five have the same sign negative minus four and minus five. Therefore, this is also a positive rational number. Next, similarly, sine of three is positive, sine of two is positive. Therefore, three upon two. 3 and 2 have the same sign therefore 3 upon 2 is a positive rational number next is negative rational number negative